Okay, hey you guys. I'm gonna wait a minute and see if anybody pops up here. I know it's literally in the middle of the day, but I have a few minutes while baby girl naps. Probably only a few minutes because she usually wakes up pretty quick. I'm gonna wait and make sure I'm on the right page. Make sure at least one of you guys pop up here because I haven't spoken to you guys in a while. And hey, hey, you guys, comment <clears throat> in the comments if you can hear me good. Good. Am I on the right page, Ashley? <clears throat> Turn the baby monitor down. She just fell asleep. So we'll see. We'll see how long <laughs> I get to. Um, do this video. I normally don't work on Fridays, but this week has been very abnormal. Aiden started back school Monday, so we are all adjusting back to a routine and a schedule. I don't do well with change at all. I feel like I just got used to him being out for the summertime, so I am trying to get myself back on a routine, and it's been a crazy, crazy, crazy month. For me, I've had a lot going on in my personal life, so I wanted to pop up here and talk about just that. I want to talk pivoting and what happens when your day or your week or your month doesn't go as planned. I'm going to give you guys a, a background. Um, me and my family went on vacation the first week of August, right? We left August 3rd. We were supposed to be gone for a week. Baby girl got very sick on the way down there. She was sick for two days. Then I got sick, like vomiting sick, like she got a stomach bug. She passed it to me. While we were down there, <clears throat> my best friend's dad, who was like a second father to me, passed away. So, the morning after he passed, I just looked at my husband. I'm like, let's just go home. I need to be with my best friend. Me and my best friend have been best friends for 20 years. And I was like, I need to be with her. I need to go home. So, we left vacation early. Um, and helping my best friend go through the mourning process of losing her dad has been very hard. That I'm not going to show you. It's been very, very hard. Because she, me and her deal with things differently. She keeps things locked inside. So, knowing how to support her and how to be there for her. Side note, she um, is also pregnant. She's due in November. Um, this is her second child. She has a three-year-old. So, knowing how to be there for her and comfort her by respecting her space and going through all those emotions. Then, Aiden going back to school, coming up with a new routine, um... My best friend also decided two days ago to have her baby shower in September, September 25th. Um, she decided that the other night. <laughs> so, I've been planning a baby shower the last two days. Like, it's done. Everything's booked and done and taken care of. Um, but it's been a crazy, crazy, crazy month for me. Even though my month is still very successful, okay? I've sponsored three people. I'm almost at seven k in sales, $7,000 in sales. Um, I just don't do well when my to-do list isn't done or I f look at myself and feel like a failure when my to-do list is not done. When I'm used to being in a routine and getting things done and not having my to-do list at the start of every day and checking it off, it gives me great satisfaction to check my to-do list off. Um, but it's kind of been a whirlwind of a month for me where I'm not sleeping and I just very emotional month. And just feeling so chaotic. I don't like feeling chaotic. And I have felt very chaotic this last month. I have not felt like a great leader this past month. Because normally I'm checking in on almost everybody. And emailing everybody. And working one-on-one -on -one with people. And texting them. And coaching them. And last night I kind of had like a little mini breakdown. I was like, James, I'm like, I just feel so overwhelmed. Like, I just feel so chaotic and I feel like I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do and he's like oh, you need to chill out because life happens life happens and that's what I want to talk about today life happens and sometimes things that happen that are out of your control I'm a very empathetic person so if you hurt I'm gonna hurt too I don't have to know you to feel you I don't have to know you on a personal level to have empathy for you that's just how I am and um I knew her father was getting sick. He was just diagnosed six months ago with cancer, so he progressed very, very quickly. Um, and I knew leaving for vacation, um, they had called the family in, and I could feel her. I could literally feel her pain. 
And I have carried that the majority of the month, feeling her pain, even up to the visitation and the funeral. And if I cry, it's fine. It's just, let me get it out. <laughs> let me get it out. I'm going somewhere. And I hope that this blesses somebody if you're going through a hard time or you're feeling like your month is not where it needs to be. Um, I, I'm very much a caretaker and I'm very much a fixer. So when people I care about and people I love are hurting, even you guys, if you guys are struggling in your business, I am a problem solver. Like, I want to solve the world's problems. I want to save everybody. <laughs> like, that's just the type, the type of human I am. I want to bear everybody's burdens. And in doing that this past month, even though, yes, my business number-wise is successful, my mental health sucks. I have not exercised at all this month, at all. I've been going to bed at 2, 3 o'clock and getting up at 5, 6 o'clock. Like, and then when I look at my bed, I'm like, God, I haven't gotten anything done. And my husband's like, but everything, your business is fine. Your, your business is fine. Like, you stress out and you get ridiculous. So, I want to talk about pivoting. I want to talk pivoting because it, it, I, I don't particularly enjoy doing videos like this because it's very vulnerable it's very raw and it's very emotional for me when I start talking about it to get it out but I felt today I was like I wasn't gonna do this video because I don't work on Fridays and then I was like you know what I, somebody somebody can be blessed by this somebody can be blessed by this and know if you're in a season I don't want you to go through that alone what started this one of my starter editors Emma had messaged me and she asked me how I was doing. And I literally started crying in my kitchen. I was like, for a month, I've struggled this past month. I've just been go, 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 go. Let's do it. Let's do all the things. Let's do all the things. Let's take care of all the people that I did not take care of myself. Um, and that was a problem. And so when she messaged me, I was like, I just feel like I'm a bad leader this month. Like, I haven't done many trainings I haven't worked with people one-on-one. -on -one. I haven't texted people to see how they're doing, to see if I can help them in their business. And she's like, you're a phenomenal leader. Why do you feel that way? Why do you feel like that? I said, because I'm used to doing it. And then my routine and how I run things, how I run my business, my business runs like a well-oiled machine. The only energy I could give this month was to my personal business. I didn't have anything left over to give anybody. I didn't have any spillage to pour into other people because I literally had to take care of my business, my family, and my best friend, and the people in my life um, this month, and that's okay. So, I want to talk about pivoting. So, y'all know I love a to-do list. I have a system. Y'all know I use the one-on-one -on -one system. I use my order history. That's my system to run my business. That's how I've always run my business, and reflecting the last year it has been very successful. I can say that, not in a cocky way. I am very much a reflector. If what I'm doing is not working, I try something for three months and then I share it. I don't share things right away with you guys. I want to make sure it works before I confuse you and before I get you overwhelmed. I know it works because I've used it for over a year and my PRV and my sponsoring is always consistent. So I know that that system works. Hands down, it works. If it didn't work, it wouldn't, um, it would show in my business if it didn't work. But the difference this month is usually I have a few things on my to-do list I want to get done. And I do the same thing every day of every week. So Monday's like follow-ups. Tuesday I do team things, team emails, recognition. Wednesday I book parties. That has not happened this month. Sometimes I had to cram a lot of my to-do list into one day. Or I had to cram my five-day list of to-dos and cram them into two days. And that's fine because life happens. But I wanted to talk to you guys about the power of 15 minutes. Because oftentimes, oftentimes, we think, and I say we as myself included, that we think sharing on social media, posting in our stories, making reels, doing posts, we call that working. Comment if you agree. I called it working. I was like, I did work today. I went my stories with the new warmer and the new scents and this collection and the sale. I went my stories with it. So I worked. Okay. It's not, it's not the same. 
social media is great. And listen, this might step on some toes. Y'all know I'm not the best at social media. I'm not the best at social media. I'm not. I'd delete it tomorrow if it wasn't for Sensi. Up until two years ago, I didn't even have an Instagram. And I didn't use stories at all. Have they benefited my business? Absolutely. They benefit my business. Absolutely going in my stories and doing posts and utilizing social media. It absolutely has an impact on my business. But listen, don't confuse that with work. So for me this month, when I would say, oh, I didn't work. And my husband, because you have to have people in your life that, that don't tell you what you want to hear. He's like, what do you mean you didn't work? I said, well, I didn't go on my stories with my Sensi Club, and I didn't do this, and I didn't um, post about this. And he said, but what did you do today? I said, well, I did my follow-ups. That's work. Social media is the cherry on top of the ice cream. But that's not work. And oftentimes when I talk to people, they're like, I'm so overwhelmed. I'm like, well, how did you work your business today? Well, I did this and this and this. You're not doing the bread and butter. You need the meat, and, the meat and potatoes of your business. And I know this to be fat. I don't care what anybody says. I, listen, I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what anybody tells y'all. Don't care. The meat and potatoes of your business is follow-ups, sponsoring conversations, <clears throat> and booking parties. That is the meat and potatoes of your business. Those are the things that are behind the scenes that nobody else sees. Y'all don't know that I booked two parties today. I ain't posted about it on social media. But in my brain, I would tell myself I didn't work because I didn't share it on social media. So if I didn't share it on social media, it didn't happen. The behind the scenes is what matters. Remember, for two years, I didn't have an Instagram and I did not use stories. And I would post about Scentsy every now and then on my personal page. My meat and potatoes, and back up to that. I joined in January 2017. I have never had under 3,000 PRV since February 2017 without social media. Why? Because the meat and potatoes of your business, the meat and potato of your business is follow-ups, booking parties, sponsoring conversations. That's the meat and potatoes. And when I talk to people and they're like, well, I'm overwhelmed or I'm not working in my business, they confuse the two. They confuse the two because they think being active and being social on social media and being consistent on social media. And granted, I'm not telling you that doesn't benefit your business. It does. It absolutely does. Every time I go on my story or do a post or share on social media, it is definitely hands down benefits my business. But what benefits my, me more in the time that I had this month, okay? This month, I wasn't as active on social media. I just wasn't. But I have 7K and I sponsored three people. You know why? Because I didn't have time for the social media part. I had time for the meat and potatoes of my business. And how I did that this month, say, I said, do I do daily follow-ups? I did this week, Kristen, because I'm so behind. But normally, I only do them on one day a week. But I was so behind, and I needed to have sponsoring conversations. I needed to book parties. So when I was doing follow-ups, I incorporated those two things into my follow-ups. Um, so it really just depends on where your business looks like. And I had to be okay with that this month to say, okay, Monday, Katie, is normally your follow-up day. You can't do it all in one day, boo. So you need to do like five follow-ups on Monday, five on Tuesday, five on Wednesday. It really, look, really depends on what your life looks like. For me, I function better when I can do them in one day. But realistically, this month, that couldn't happen. But what did happen, I said to myself, the meat and potatoes. That's how I started this business. That's how I grew my business when I was a nurse. The meat and potatoes. I was never on social media when I worked as a nurse. We weren't allowed to have our phones on the floor. I was never. Didn't utilize stories until two years ago. Didn't get an Instagram until two years ago. Never utilized those. I'd post every now and then. Um, I always had a VIP page. But the meat and potatoes was me asking. Was me writing people's names on a sticky note. And in spurts of time in between patients talking to people. That is the meat and potatoes. So this is why I want to talk to you guys today because this is how I've worked this month. I have worked 45 minutes every single day on income producing things. And this is how I do it. 15 minutes in the morning, 
when the kids are calm, normally when they're eating breakfast or watching Bluey or Sonic. Sonic's the new thing in this household. Like, Aiden's all about Sonic. That 15 minutes, I turn my phone where I get no, notific <clears throat> no notifications on my phone so it cannot ding. Text can't come through. Facebook messages can't come through. I'm not distracted by notifications because if I check a notification, I'm going to start scrolling. 15 minutes in the morning. 15 minutes in the morning when my kids were eating breakfast. I would take that 15 minutes to do follow-ups. And however, and I'd set a timer on my stove. I'd set my toast stove timer. Also, when, if you use your stove timer, please do not accidentally turn on the stove. <laughs> uh, just wanted to throw that out there in case that might happen to anybody. <laughs> so, make sure you don't turn the stove on. Um, I would set my stove timer for 15 minutes and I'd say, okay, Katie, however many follow-ups using my order history, because I already had my order history printed out, how many follow-ups can you get done in 15 minutes? Bam. When the alarm went off, I was done with follow-ups for the day. Then when I would lay her down for her nap, I would take 15 minutes to book parties. Set my timer on my stove. Don't turn your stove on. Set my timer on on my stove. Turn my notifications off so nothing could come through. How many parties can I get in 15 minutes? You can do a lot in 15 minutes if it's intentional. I'm just here to tell you, I get more done in them 15-minute incre increments than I do in my entire day. 15 minutes, how many parties can I book in 15 minutes during her nap time? Bam, we're done. Okay, the kids go to bed at night. After they're in bed at night and the house is silent and it is calm and it is quiet. I set my timer again for 15 minutes. How many sponsoring conversations can I have in 15 minutes? How many people can I share this business with? How many of my best customers can I talk about getting paid off of their own purchases? How many of my Sensi Club people can I have conversations with about them getting paid off their own Sensi Club and getting free and half off perks off their own orders when they accumulate? That's how I have sponsoring conversations. How can it benefit them? I have bomb customers. Why wouldn't I share that with them? The perks of being a consultant. You only have to be active once every two months, every 12 months, once a year. If your Sensi Club's $200, you're going to be active every every month, every two months, every three months. Why wouldn't I share that with them? Your Sensi Club's $200, boo, that's a 50 buck paycheck a month. Plus the other orders you, you get throughout the month with new releases. Why wouldn't I share that? 15 minutes. How many sponsoring conversations can I get in 15 minutes? The key, though, is turning your phone off, your notifications off, and turning your timer on. I'm telling you, last week, how many parties I get last week? I went and sat with my best friend for a little bit last week. And when I got home, I told James I have no parties booked. I need to get parties booked. I need PRV. It's the best season. Fall's the best season of partying. I need to book parties. How many did I book? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine parties in 15 minutes. I booked nine parties in 15 minutes. Nine. Nine. Three for August and six for September. Nine. In 15 minutes. Because I was intentional with my time. And I was like, okay, let me message her. Oh, got a notification. Let me check that. Oops, somebody texted me. Let me answer that real quick. And before you know it, your 15 minutes is gone. And life happens and your kids are off the chain and they need a snack open and your customer needs something or you got to make a delivery or if you work a full-time job. You can't be doing Sensi all day, and you shouldn't be doing Sensi all day. That is how I worked when I started this. When I was a nurse. I didn't have fancy systems. I had my order history of people who ordered. And I would set aside time, intentional time, to focus on the things that matter. Follow-ups. Booking parties. Because booking parties leads to follow-ups booking parties leads to party bookings booking parties leads to sponsoring parties is the heart if you don't even have 15 if you only have 15 minutes you don't have 45 minutes in a day you only have 15 minutes book parties book parties follow-ups and parties the sponsoring will come you need people in order to sponsor you need a big customer base you need a larger customer base to sponsor you're going to sponsor by meeting new people through partying and then following up with them. That is 
look, this business is not rocket scientists. It is that, that simple. People have overcomplicated it over the years. It is that simple. A triangle. Look, this is my taxes on my car I'm supposed to be paying. <laughs> but first pay last week. It's fine. They know I'm late every year. I still, I'm not late though. I still, I still got five days to pay these taxes. F them taxes. I try, <laughs> excuse me y'all. Okay, triangle. There's a reason, listen. There is a reason why, I messed that triangle up so I gotta start over. There is a reason why the first thing you do when you become a consultant is have your launch party. That is the reason why that's number one. <laughs> F them taxes. <laughs> There's a reason why when you join, the first thing you do is have your launch party to kick your business off. That doesn't stop. So listen, triangle. I'll make something pretty maybe. Might not. It might happen, it might not. Triangle. Party. Follow up. Sponsoring. That's what you need to focus on. That's what you need to focus on. 15 minutes. Do you have 15 minutes a day when your children are eating breakfast? Do you have 15 minutes a day after dinner? Do you have 15 minutes a day after the kids go to bed? 15 minutes. Look, 15 minutes is less than The Bachelor show. Okay? I love The Bachelor. It's my, guilt, my guilty pleasure is trash TV. 15 minutes. Three times a day is less than an episode of The Bachelor. You have 15 minutes to intentionally focus on these three things and nothing else. Print your order history so you know who you're going to talk to. Okay, you need to, you need to know the who, you need the when. This is the how. This is how you're going to have a successful business. The who is your customers, existing and new and growing your customer base. The when is this. When are you going to sit down and do it? Do I want to do this all the time? No. Heck no, I don't want to. Don't want to. I don't want to. But I have to. If I want to give my kids the life I never had. How do I choose? So, I print mine for the whole month, Kristen. So, I print... Like this month, I printed every single person that had ordered the previous month. Um, but I've been doing this a year. So when I first started, I had to play catch up. But once I played catch up, I only print every month for the month before. And then I keep three months worth. So that way, if I run out of people, like to have, maybe I had sponsoring conversations with somebody three months ago from my list. Maybe they said maybe or they'll think about it. I'll revisit it on the current list. So, I always keep three months worth of list. But I always focus on the month previous. So, I keep them after three months I pitch them. So, I hold on to them for three months. That way, I have all my customers right there. So, like this month, for last month, I had already spoken to those people about booking parties for August. So, I needed to, to go back to July's list to start. Focus on them to book parties for September. So, I you don't have to necessarily keep them. You can always print them um, however often you want. I just rather keep them so I can make little notes beside their name um, and cross them out. Like, if I know she's already told me a million times, no, 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 I go ahead and cross her out. Um, but I like to keep three months worth. The, the reason I do that is because I'm always on the go. So, my son's school is 45 minutes away. So, it's 45 minutes there in the morning and then 45 minutes back. That's an hour and a half time. So, I like to put them in my pocketbook. So, when I'm on the go, if I'm in the drop-off line um, or whatever I'm doing, I can knock two or three out. Or if I get to the school a little bit early and I'm waiting for him to come out, I can do two or three. Um, that's how I work, for real. I mean, that's how... I run this business. I don't necessarily have spurts of time that I actually can sit down and work. Sometimes I can only do three or four follow-ups on the way to school after I drop them off or three to four when I'm on the pickup line to pick them up or three to four if I'm going through to get the something out the bank and I'm waiting on the teller. So I just like to carry them in my pocketbook. It just makes life easier for me. I don't like anything digital. I don't like Google Forms. I don't like anything for my follow-ups. I want pen and paper so I can fold it up 
stick it in my pocketbook. When I'm done with it, put it in my planner and I can always revisit it. Um, but 15 minutes is what has saved me this month. So a lot of people may not have seen me on social media on this month. But my business is killing it this month because I'm focused on the meats and potatoes. The cherry and the dessert is being on social media. Yes, absolutely. I said this at the beginning of the video. So I know I sound like a broken record. Being on social media. Somebody tried to call me, so I had to deny it. 100% being on social media impacts my business. It has grew my customer base. It's got me parties booked. It's had me um, have sponsoring conversations. It absolutely benefits my business. But not like the bread and butter and the meat and potatoes of your business. The foundational things of your business are what matters. So if you really crunch for time or you're going through a hard time in life, and we all go through that, I feel like, this year, it's been up and down in my personal life, um, and I've had to pivot a lot and say, okay, this is not working in this season of my business, so I need to pivot. What did you do when you worked? What did you do when you worked 12-hour shifts? How did you work your business? Okay, because I wasn't on social media at all when I first started. For the first two, three years of my business, I wasn't on social media, um, and I had a very successful business. And grew more leaders. PRV is always consistently high. And have consistently sponsored. So don't confuse. Being on social media with working. Because I was doing that for a while. I'm like I haven't worked. I didn't go in my stories with my Scentsy Club. You know what? Instead of going to my stories. Why don't I message five of my best customers. And talk to them about Scentsy Club. Okay. That would have taken the same amount of time. But intentional. Being intentional with the time that I do have. If I have extra time, sure, I'm, I'm going to go do all the social media things and, and do all the things. After the meat and potatoes of my business is done. After that's done. Because the best thing that you can do for your business, listen, if you take nothing else from this video, this is the best thing you can do for your business. Connection. Your customers want connection. They want to feel valued. They want to feel important. The best way to do that is to continue to follow up with them and take good care of them. That's what's going to change your business. All it takes is one customer and one person to change your entire business. I can tell you every single person I've sponsored, 90% of them came from a party. 90% of them I did not know before Scentsy. 90% of them came from a follow-up. 90% out of almost 150 frontline. 90% came from my follow-up and continuing to take care of them not from posting in my stories or posting on my social media don't get it confused yes absolutely social social media is where it's at we're in a social media world people are on social media 100 percent get that but do not lose the foundational parts of your business that matters. Do you know why people struggle? Why new consultants? I, I talked to one of my leaders about this the other day. When I first joined, we didn't have all these pages. We didn't have all these trainings. We didn't have all these things. We had the meat and potatoes. So when, and I never did one-on-one -on -one coaching like the first two years of my business. I didn't coach people one-on-one. -on -one. They would message me. They would join. I would say, hey, have your launch party after they had their launch party. I would say, hey, aim for certified. You get your pay raise. After they did that, I'm like, hey, go go have a sponsoring conversation with one of your best customers that ha have ordered from you frequently or have ordered a lot. That's how I ran my business. That's how I coached people. Step by step, the meat and potatoes. What's happened over the last three years, people got so into social media again, which is great. I just want to make that clear. Social media is great for your business. Social media doesn't build your business. Connection and building relationships build your business. And it's gotten confused over the years. So when I hear, especially new consultants, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. I'm like, well, how have you worked your business? Oh, well, I posted in my stories and I did a post. I'm like, no, who did you reach out to you? Have you set a date for your launch party? When's your launch party? Who have you talked to personally about inviting them to your launch party, even if your launch party is online? Have you personally messaged them to invite them? Have you had a conversation or did you just hit add? Did you just hit add? 
because that's not connection and that's not building a relationship. And so often new consultants, especially new consultants, struggle with that question. Well, how did you work? Well, I posted on my stories and I posted on social media and that's great. But honey boo boo, you got to open your mouth. You got to have a conversation. Instead of adding 10 people, why don't you personally message those 10 people and tell them you started a new journey, you would love their support. Will they be willing to come to your launch party? That's going to do so much better than just an ad. We live in a time where people want quick results, and this is not a quick building business. This building, this business took a lot of hard conversations. Kayla, Kayla Welke didn't join because I um, did a post on social media. Stacey Edwards didn't join. Ray Ray didn't join because I did a post on social media. They may have watched my social media to see how consistent I was and how passionate and how much I loved it. They joined because I messaged them and I talked to them and, <coughs> and had a conversation about them joining and why it would benefit them. Kayla Welke was ordering a crazy amount. Get paid off your own purchases, boo. Followed up with Stacy. She was the easiest join conversation. She, I love this stuff so much. I'm like, well, then you should join and get paid off it. Okay. Ray Ray was referring her grandma and her mom and her family to me. I'm like, why are you referring them to me? To me? Refer them to the self, yourself and join. They didn't join because they watched my story. They didn't join because they saw me do a join post. They joined because I had an intentional conversation with them. That is why they joined. And people are getting it so constricted and great. I said it 10 times already. Social media is great. I have I got a new customer today from posting in my stories yesterday. It's great. She saw I got her attention. We connected. We related. It's great. But that relationship this morning when I followed up with her, we talked about massages. We talked about how crazy our second kids are, how them second kids just want to take you out. They just want to take you out. We talked about life this new customer and I've built a relationship with her and because I did it she's like can you mail me some new stuff I haven't smelled the new stuff I'm like girl I can bring you a bag you live 20 minutes away sure booked a party because of the follow-up I know that was a whole lot to take in y'all so sorry I know that was a whole lot don't lose sight of the bread and butter of this business, of the foundational things. There's a thing called the first things first checklist. And the first thing is have your launch party. This business, and I can see, feel it with my team too. I told Ray Ray this last year and that's why my why with my team and my group changed. That's why I stopped doing postcards. Because I was doing postcards and mailing you guys postcards. But half of you don't know who I am. It was more important to me. Yes, I want to recognize you, but to me, it's more important to build a relationship with you. I saw Tori up here, Tori Farrell. Tori Farrell's not my stewardship, but I didn't get to really, truly know her until I texted her and congratulated her on an awesome month and get to know her as a person. The connection. If I just would have mailed her a postcard, she wouldn't know who, who the heck I am. We wouldn't have built a relationship. There are very easy ways to simplify this business, but I'm going to very much encourage you, do not take the human connection and building relationships out of this business. Especially new, I see it all the time, especially the new people I sponsor, they struggle because they don't have a launch party. They just post on social media and wonder why they're not successful. They think a post, a post in this, going in your stories is some magic potion to run a successful business and it's not. I'm here to tell y'all, for somebody that built, I promoted to SSD, the highest in the company, in two years. In two years. Without social media. Without stories. Without Instagram. I promoted to the highest of the company in two years. Without stories. Without social media. Again, has social media benefited my business? Absolutely. Absolutely it has. But if I only have 15 minutes to work, where's my 15 minutes going to go? Following up with my customers or going live in my stories? And that's what I want you guys to ask yourself every day. What does your day look like? What energy do you have? Do you have 15 minutes to work your business? Or is it a crazy day? Then you don't need to be doing a post on social media about the harvest collection that comes out next Thursday. Because we still have five days left, six days left of this month. You need to be following up and telling people about these bundles that are current 
and following up with people about the sale of the wall fans that are still available and following up with people about Nightmare Before Christmas that's still available and clearance that is still available. Use your time that you do have wisely because we all get the same 24 hours in a day. I don't get more hours than y'all. Despite I don't care what anybody says. I used to work as 12 hours nurse five days a week and I got more done when I work than I do now. Hands down. Promise you. Promise you. Stay, being a stay-at-home mom is one of the hardest jobs. Being a working mom is one of the hardest jobs. They are both hard. I got more done when I nursed, though. So, if you only have this amount of time, you need to be very, very, very peculiar about where you spend it. If you only have 15 minutes while you're cooking dinner, set your alarm on your stove for 15 minutes and follow up with some customers. Your PRV slacking and you want your PRV to be better next month, set your alarm for 15 minutes and have some booking conversations and book some parties. You haven't sponsored in a year, Set alarm for 15 minutes and have some sponsoring conversations. Be very, very, very diligent with the time that you have a day. Because you don't need a lot of time to have a successful business. You just need to do the time that you do have, the downtime that you do have, very wisely. Very, very wisely. So, do you have 15 minutes? You have 15 minutes. Turn your phone off so you're not distracted. Set an alarm. Print your order history. 15 minutes, how many follow-ups can you get done in 15 minutes? How many sponsoring conversations can you have in 15 minutes? How many parties can you book in 15 minutes? Okay, because there's times during the summertime when Aiden wasn't in school, James would get home and I'm like, I haven't worked at all today. I need to book parties. I'm going out on the front porch. I would go out on the front porch and I would sit there and I would take my order history and I'm like, okay, who ordered a lot last month? Okay, she ordered like 10 times last month. I'm about to ask her to book a party. And I would go down and I would message them and I would challenge myself to get as many parties as I could get done in 15 minutes. How many can I book in 15 minutes? Intentional. Be intentional with your time. So, Last thing and then I'm done, I swear. If you are going through a hard season in your life, you're going through a hard time, and change is hard, okay? I'm like a child. I don't do well when my routine is out. Aiden's starting school. Everything going on this month is taking a mental toll. It has. Everybody goes through things. And I'm not saying that one, one person's struggles is different than another person's struggle. But I will say this. In the last three years, I have battled. It's been up and down. It feels like it's always something going on. Up and down, up and down, up and down. And I felt like I could never catch my breath because the next thing is happening. Um, and I could have easily put my kit down and said, I'm no longer working. Because I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. Pivot around your struggle. Pivot around the things that you are going through. Know that I'm very empathetic toward it. I am very empathetic when people are going through things. But I'm also one, you're going through this and you're probably going to be going through it for a while. So how can we pivot? How can we pivot what you're going through and work around that so you can still work? You may not be, I may not have been able to coach a lot of people this month and work one-on-one -on -one and do all the videos this month because I, I mentally couldn't. But I had to pivot and say, okay, you can't do that this month. You need to focus on your personal business this month and pivot and pivot instead of just throwing it away. And I see that so much people go through hard stuff or life gets crazy, life gets busy, and they just throw everything that they worked so hard for away because it got hard for a month, for two months, for three months, for a year. Instead of pivoting and pivoting. There's no wrong or right way to work this business, okay? Pivot. Y'all know I'm very vulnerable. When I was pregnant with my daughter, it was a hard pregnancy. When I had her last year, I don't know how I survived last year. I really don't. I really do not know how I survived last year. Don't know. Don't know how, how my business still have. Really don't know. Because I had to keep pivoting. And I had to say, okay, Katie, you haven't sponsored in two months. What's going on? You need to pivot, boo. You need to do something different. And I constantly reflect and I look at what I'm doing. Is what I'm doing, is there a... Is what I'm doing, am I seeing results from it? And if the answer is no, I have to stop doing it and I have to pivot. 
and I have to pivot and I have to pivot and life gets hard and it gets very hard and especially I can't I can't speak for every leader but I'll speak for myself I think people often look at me like oh Katie's got it all together all the time look at her she's got high PRV and she's sponsored she's doing all the things and you see the numbers and you see the pretty things but you don't see the behind the scenes of what that looks like of pulling into my son's school and sitting there for five minutes before I go get him to do a couple follow-ups. Getting to the school early in the morning time to do a couple follow-ups. To stay up a little bit later to book a couple parties. People don't see that. They see the number and they're like, oh my God, Katie's, she's got it all together. Y'all, my heart has hurt this month. It has hurt. It has been emotionally torturing this month torture emotional torture this month and try and hold it together to run a business and run a team and be there for my team y'all will never get perfect from me you're gonna see my struggle too and i have struggled this month and i want you to know i struggled this month but i want you to know that i pushed through it in a different way and i had to pivot instead of i could have easily just said we done August, we done. Deuces, see out. Catch in September when the Harvest Collection releases. But no. My dreams aren't just in the fall. What this business can do for my life and what it has done for my life and what it has done for my family doesn't just happen in the fall. It happens every month for me. So I have to pivot. I have to pivot. So I just wanted to share that with you. If you're going through a hard time, if life is heavy... If the burden is heavy and you feel like you got the weight of the world on your shoulders and you feel like all these people are just relying on you and they need parts of you and you can't breathe, I want you to A, know you're not alone ever. Please reach out to me if you're struggling. Do listen. I said this to Kayla Welke the other day. I am not just here for Scentsy. Am I here to help you build a big business and change your life through Sensi? If that's what you want to do, absolutely. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to show you how to build a big business. But I am not just here for Sensi. I am here for when your parent passes, for when you have a baby, when you have postpartum depression, postpartum anxiety, when you lost your job, when you got a new job, when your husband left you, when you're battling depression. I'm not just here for Sensi. I'm here to help you build a big business, but that's not just what I'm here for. And I want you guys to never go through stuff alone, okay? Never go through it alone, ever, ever. Reach out to somebody. I know Kayla, I called Kayla the other night, and I normally, so I, 3 o'clock, I'm done. That's family time. I'm there with my family after 3 o'clock. Kayla was struggling. I said, we get on the phone, boo. We're talking this out. We're not, no, it's past your business hours. We're talking it out. We're talking it out. I'm not letting you go to bed feeling the way that you're feeling. So we're talking it out. We're going to talk it out. And we're going to talk through it. And we're going to pivot. Because that's what we do. One of my greatest nursing instructors, when I was in nursing school, told me, if you don't like change, you're in the wrong profession. And that has always stuck with me, even in life. She, she, she said, if you don't like change, you're in the wrong profession. Because healthcare is constantly changing. Just like this business is constantly changing. That doesn't mean it's not going to get hard. You're going to have hard months. You're going to have very hard months. You're going to have great months though. You're going to have great months where you're on the mountains. And then the next month it's going to be like, what happened? I'm drowning. You can't have the mountains without the without the valleys too. You can't have the mountains. You can't have the promotion, the high PRV, earning an incentive, doing all the things without having the valleys too. And the valleys can be hard. And that's what this group's for. That is what this page is for. That's what me and Ray Ray are here for. We're not, the mountains are great. We're going to cheer you on the mountains. But even more so, we want to help you maneuver and go through the valley. Because the valley, that's what changes you. The valley is where you get new ideas from, fresh ideas from, where you learn from others from, where you change your business from. The valley is just important as a mountain. So don't go through things alone. If you're going through something, I'm going to encourage you to do 15, 15, 15. It works. It works. 
if I could screenshot my workstations and share it, 15, 15, 15, it works. So, love you guys. Y'all have an awesome day. I'm going to pay these taxes in just a minute because they've been sitting here just looking at me. And, of course, baby girl just got up. So, I love you guys. Have an awesome Friday. Have an awesome weekend. I am pumped. I'm going to get a massage tomorrow, so I'm so excited. Um, love y'all.